Hello guys and welcome back and in today's video I'm going to talk about the advantages and disadvantages of Android after rooting. So if you're considering rooting your Android device make sure to stay to the end of this video. Now rooting is a process of obtaining full administrative access also known as root access to an Android device's operating system. In similar terms it allows users to have complete control over their Android device similar to how administrators have control over a computer. So when you buy an Android device it comes with certain restrictions imposed by the maker and cellular carrier to protect the system and ensure device stability and security. But rooting gives you the ability to access and modify the system files and settings that are typically hidden and locked. Now, rooting has its pros and cons that you need to know about before you decide to root your own, so let's dive right in. Now, before I continue, I just want to briefly talk about Incogni. These days, our data is all over the internet, making it easily accessible to anyone. And so, who benefits from it the most? Data brokers who buy and sell your data, including phone number, home address, and SSN on the internet, profiting without you knowing. That's why Incogni is super efficient, they handle all interactions with data brokers, get your data deleted, and prevent that data from ending up a back online without you needing to do anything. And so, Incogni helps you protect yourself from identity theft, spam calls, and health insurers raising your rates. So, if you'd like to check them out, click on the link in the description down below, and use the coupon code ESRA55 in the checkout for a total of a 55% discount on your annual subscription. For starters, one of the biggest advantages of rooting is getting full control over your Android device. For example, you can access system files and settings that were previously unavailable, allowing for extensive customization and personalization, which means you can install custom ROMs, modify system settings, and use apps that require root access. Rooting also lets you to uninstall pre-installed blotware that comes with your device. This not only frees up storage space, but also improves performance and battery life. And speaking of improving performance, with root access, you can use apps and tools that re-optimize your phone's performance, like CPU overlocking, which can lead to faster processing speed. Rooting also allows you to create full system backups, giving you the ability to restore your device to a previous state in case anything goes wrong during customization or experimentation. Plus, rooting permits the use of ad-blocking apps providing a smoother and less intrusive browsing experience. Now, keep in mind that rooting also comes with its share of disadvantages and risks. For example, incorrectly performing the rooting process can lead to breaking your device, making it unusable and requiring complicated fixes. Also, rooting can expose your device to potential security risks, since it gives you access to system files that could be used by hackers. Rooting your device also voids the maker's warranty, leaving you responsible for repair costs if anything goes wrong, and some apps and services may not work on rooted devices and officious system updates may become unavailable. And lastly, customizations to system files can lead to an unstable operating system, which can cause crashes and errors. Overall, rooting should be approached with caution, and you should weigh the pros and cons and be aware of the potential risks involved before proceeding. It is also important to follow reputable rooting guides and take necessary precautions to minimize the chances of encountering issues with your device. And that's all for today's video. Feel free to comment below if you have any questions or feedback because I love getting to interact with you guys. And please don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this video to be helpful. And make sure to turn on the notifications for more tech videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.